Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Alejandra for those of you guys who are new. So today, as you guys can tell, I'm gonna be doing this eye look for you today for the holidays. So yeah, let's get to it. So yeah, let's get to the video. Also, sorry if I keep looking at myself. I'm just trying to see if I'm still focused. So yeah. So I'm gonna start off with this primer the hydrating camel concealer satin finish in the shade medium peach this one is a little bit darker than my skin tone but i'm just gonna do this before i um add my foundation because since this is a little darker and it has like more of that orangey tone so i'm just gonna use it as con oh yeah as concealer but to hide my blemishes Kind of just put it where you guys have blemish. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. I need to get my eyebrows done before Christmas. So now I'm just going to go in with this one. This is the 16 hour camel concealer in the shade medium peach as well but this one is um definitely lighter side i should say so with this one it really does go a long way so you only need to add a little bit so like that and i'm gonna be using today the jacqueline hill palette the Volume 2 by Morphe. And I'm going to be using these as my transition shade. So I'm just going to be using this white one just to set it in a little bit. Kind of all over the place. <laughs> next i'm going to be taking with a blending brush this is the bh cosmetics 101 and i'm going to be using this shade oh i use certified and now i'm going to be using i'm going to be using this one right here perfectionist dabbing that in a little bit and then just putting that all over the eyelid and this is such a pretty shade. You guys can see it just adds a little bit color to it. It's like that perfect peachy, peachy, like nude color for an all over lip. And then just building up the color. like so it just adds a little bit of color to it if you guys want to go darker you can maybe later on i'll add a little bit of the darkness but for right now i'm not i'm just going to be using this dewy and smooth a normal to dry dry skin um in the shade 118 light what is it light beige probably have to put my brush kind of in here since it's a little bit Yeah, for sure. I need to buy some more. <laughs> I look kind of funny. And I'm taking this brush and I'm just going to blush it all out. I'll be right back once I'm done blending all of this out. Okay, guys, so I'm back now and I'm just going to be using the loose finishing powder by Maybelline in the shade. Fair Light 10. This is what it looks like. I really like this one. So I'm just going to be using this little brush. And I'm just going to be setting my under eye. Kind of baking it a little bit. And same thing with my smile lines 
This is where I get like the most crease. Okay, so now I'm gonna be taking a fluffy brush and setting my whole face. Ah. And I like to go like this first before I start blending everything. I'm just gonna leave the face for now because I'm sure I'm gonna have to wipe more. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more powder right here. So that way, if I have fallout, it, um, it'll be there. So I'm gonna pack it on. I'm just gonna be taking this little eyeliner that looks like this, or not eyeliner, glitter. It looks like this. It has a, it's like a little bit goldish. So yeah. And I'm gonna be taking a brush like this to make the eyeliner. Um, where's my glue? I don't have any glitter glue, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of. Well, I'm gonna use um eyelash glue. I'm gonna be taking this one by Kiss Strip lash strip lash adhesive and let's hope for the best let me try to get a little closer so i'm going to be using my highlight so it's kind of like that Let's hope for the best. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing little by little. Dipping the brush in there. And dabbing it on. You will definitely get fallout, as you guys can see. Hopefully my eyelashes stick on. And if you guys want your eyeliner or um, longer, you can. Move on to the next eye. Hopefully this matches up. So this is kind of what that looks like. So I'm going to take it in more to define it more. Something like that. Like so. Hopefully, I'm not, don't regret this. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this brush and kind of take the remainder off. I'm gonna go back into that fluffy, oh my God. Y'all saw that? I just whacked myself. Kind of brush it off. Okay. 
Okay, so this is what it looks like close up. You guys can see the liner. Like that. And then here as well, it goes in like a triangle. This one, not so much. Let me see. There you go. This one as well goes like that. My eyeliner are a little shorter. But like I said, if you guys want to make it longer, you guys can. Okay, just dust off the rest. Okay, so I cleaned up off everything now. I want to go wash my hands so I had glitter all over. So I'm going to be taking the Fit Me Matte Coreless Powder in the shade Truffle 362. This is a setting powder, but I like to use it as a um, contour. So yeah, I'm taking a brush like this, an angle brush. I'm not putting it in. I kind of always like to tap it in first before I end up blending it out. And then just blend up. And take a little bit of that and add it to my nose. Trying to get that snatched nose. Okay. Oh, forgot to do my forehead. I'm going to be using this um, BH Cosmetics, the Blush Neutrals 26 Colors Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to be taking these two together and I'm going to be adding that together. And start from the top as well. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Highlight Powder in the shade Precious Petals 3, 321B. Dabbing it in as well. As you guys can see. I'm gonna do it with my finger. Okay, there we go. Next up is my eyebrows. Where's my eyebrow? Pencil. Here's my pencil. It's from Morphe. This is in the shade um, Cold Brew. And I don't really like to fill in my brows that much. So I kind of just go with the outline. Oh, for a minute I thought I was not recording. Just go in with a light hand. Like so. And then I'll kind of just take some of my powder brush that I use to set the eyeshadow with and kind of just blend it. That kind of helps. They look really dark on camera. They're not this dark, you guys, trust me. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the lashes. I'm going to take these ones and I'll be right back. So this is the end, the finished product, as you guys can tell. Oh wait, no. Oh my gosh, I'm not even wearing lipstick. I wanna have my stuff ready already. Okay, so let me clean off my lips. Take the, um, my chapstick off. And I'm using this L'Oreal color in the shade Taupe to be. Oh wait, Tough to be. I thought that's a taupe for a minute. So yeah, it looks like this. And then I'm also going to be taking the NYX Professional Makeup in London. This is the um, Soft Matte Cream. So I'm using this one to outline my lips. This one is a little bit darker than the matte.
kind of bring the color towards you. And then just blend it out with your finger. And I'm just kind of adding this one all over the lips. So this is what that looks like, the lips. So this is the finished result, as you guys can see. I really like the eyeliner look. I like this part right here as well. It looks like you can see it. Let me put some um, flash on. Let me guys. Let me get you guys a little closer. As you guys can see, my eyeliner is a little subtle. It's not really so big, but you guys can definitely make it longer if you guys want this is kind of what that looks like as you guys can see right here so that is the end of the the video i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more bye Happy